Former Grenadian Ambassador Dr. Decima Williams on Wednesday received her instrument of appointment to become a member of the Upper House of Parliament. Dr. Williams is expected to be officially sworn in as President of the Senate when Parliament opens, making her the fourth female in Grenada's Parliament history to be appointed to the position. The other female presidents were Margaret Nichols, Leslie and Sion, and Joan Purcell. Dr. Williams, who comes from St. Andrew, served Grenada as ambassador to the Organization of American States from 1973 to 1983. From 2008 to 2013, she served as the permanent representative to the United Nations, representing Grenada as chair of the Alliance of Small Island Developing States. Her Excellency Dame Cecile Lagrenade says Dr. Williams is well deserving of the opportunity to serve in the Senate. Dr. Decima Williams is an outstanding woman. She served her country with distinction over the past four decades and has consistently used her talent and expertise to benefit her country. Apart from her role as a distinguished diplomat, her contributions go well beyond the diplomatic field. She founded and directed the Grenada Education and Development Program Grenade, an organization that seeks to empower young women. She has chaired the Alliance of Small Island Developing States, an alliance with a mandate that is of utmost importance as it focuses on the pressing issue of climate change, particularly its adverse effects on small island nations such as ours. Prime Minister Honorable Deacon Mitchell, who was present to witness Dr. Williams receive her instrument, said the feeling is one of pride and gratitude and added that the call to service often comes with significant sacrifice and demands. I want to personally thank you for the service and the sacrifice that you have made and will continue to, to make. And I feel particularly proud of the fact that you describe yourself as a rural woman and the fact that you're a woman and so it was very important for me to ensure that uh, the senators who are appointed uh, by the office of the prime minister reflect the importance of women and not just young women uh, in the senate uh, but women with the experience the dedication and without doubt the expertise and skill set that i think will serve the nation of grenada and so it really is an honor for me to be standing here with you um, amongst other great women uh, including our Governor General, who've all served Grenada well. Dr. Williams says it's both a challenge and an honor to serve standing on the shoulders of those who did so before her. Realizing that access to state power by women must both signal a commitment to intentionally increasing the numbers and impact of women, of Grenada's women, in decision making, as well as enabling women and men the opportunity to bring about positive change for society. As a rural woman, a St. Andrews woman, this feels good, this feels important, and it brings pride to all of us. She thanked Prime Minister Mitchell and his team for inviting her to serve Grenada. This singular honor to serve in Grenada's upper house has belonged to a small percentage of our population, and it has always been a big responsibility. I aim to do my best. It is just over 43 years ago that I received my credentials for my first government job as Ambassador Permanent Representative of Grenada to the Organization of American States. I was humbled and awed then, and I was humbled once again when the call to service came, and I'm still awed. I pay tribute to all senators who have served before me and expect to learn from all of you. Former Prime Minister Honorable Tillman Thomas, former Senator Franca Bernadine, and past President of the Senate Margaret Nichols were present at the ceremony.